What's going on guys? So we are out here today on this absolutely beautiful day. It's about 65, 70 degrees. The wind is super, super light. The sun is a little bit overcast, but it's a beautiful day. It's a great day to be outside. And I'm gonna showcase a product for you that you may really like. Now, this kind of continues on our December kind of special showcasing products that you may or may not have even known existed. Uh, this one you probably know existed, but you probably didn't realize that it's as convenient as it really is. So we're gonna showcase this today, and we're gonna do it with the 1973 Ford Super Camper Special Truck. And there's a perk to this specific truck that some modern trucks don't have that might not normally be a perk, and we'll talk about that in a second. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So real quick, super cool product the folks over at eTrailer sent me. They say that this is really, really popular. A lot of people like to get this for gifts for other folks. It's about 40 bucks on their website. It's a seat cover. Now I know people have seen seat covers before and you know, there's pretty much not a heck of a lot of difference between them, but this one's actually pretty cool. It's got a really nice soft microfiber feel to it. I believe it's waterproof. It's got a nice rubber backer here to keep it from sliding around too much. It's got a Velcro strap that goes all the way around the back and this piece covers your headrest, which is also pretty cool. It's made by Quick Cover. It's branded e-trailer. This thing is super nice. It covers the whole bottom part of the seat and drapes over the side. I'm giving this one to my father-in-law because uh, he works really hard. Sometimes he's hot and sweaty and this is gonna protect his truck a little bit more. He has this inside of a Dodge Ram he's had for a long time. But this will give him a little bit extra protection while at the same time feeling nice and soft. Very cool. I'll throw a link in the description if this is something you may be interested in. Again, this is the quick cover from the folks over at e-trailer. Okay, so what you're looking at in front of you is an adjustable cargo bar, and this is from Right Line Gear. This right here is something that I think almost any truck owner has a need for at some point during their life or during their ownership of a truck, um, probably multiple times. Like for me, something like this comes in really handy if I'm going to be moving propane cans around or if I'm going to be moving gas cans around and I don't want them to shift in the bed of the truck. Now, a lot of folks with pickup truck beds have no problem with stuff just rolling around. And I think for the most part, I don't either, unless it's something that can get damaged if it falls over or it can spill if it falls over. Or even sometimes you go to the grocery store and you have, you know, containers or gallons of milk or water or something here in the back. And the last thing you want to do is end up to, you know, going where you're going and finding out that everything that was here is now way back there. And that's really what these are designed for. You can use these in SUVs, you can use these in pickup trucks, um, but they really, really stand out whenever you use these in a pickup truck. Now let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so you can see what it's all about. Now, I will probably not be the first to admit that as cool as it is to assemble stuff whenever you get it, that kind of takes away from the time that you actually get to enjoy it because you have to put the thing together. I love products that come 100% assembled. And this product comes completely assembled. You don't have to do anything to it other than start using it. This is pretty cool. So first of all, it looks really, really nice. Now. I know when it comes to things like this, a lot of times looks shouldn't really matter, function over form kind of thing. But I feel that anything you spend your hard earned money on these days should at least cosmetically look nice. It should look well protected. It should look as if it's designed to accomplish the task that you bought it for and then last and then look good doing it. Because if you open up the bed of your truck and someone sees it, you want people to go, hey, what is that? Not, what is that? You know, you want people to have a positive reaction to it. And I think you would absolutely have a positive reaction to this. Now the sizes are from 43 inches to 75 and the way that you accommodate that is through this really really cool mechanism they put here. This is kind of a three-way mechanism. Right now and it's, it's in its locked mode which this is not going to slide in and out when it's locked. Then you can move it to its ratcheting mode like this. Check this out. And when you do that that extends this bar so you can tighten it within the inner side walls of your bed. And then right here is your kind of free mode where the thing can just slide in and out. So this is where you'd make your large adjustments like this. And then you'd put it in ratchet mode to make your micro adjustments. So if I were gonna install this, possibly one-handed, probably not. I think I can do it. So I'm gonna extend it out a little bit more just so I know it's right to the edge, the inside of the truck. Pretty close. Okay, so I cheated, I put the camera down and I 
kind of made my adjustments with the camera down. So basically what I did was I had it on this third setting right here where it essentially just slides in and out and I made it so it's just barely touching the inside of the rails and then I brought it back to its ratchet setting and it only took one click for this thing to go into place and it's pretty dang sturdy at this point. Now, as far as additional adjustments, I really don't think you need to make one. I could probably ratchet it just one more if I wanted. Just to get that extra strength. Now, I just lock that in place and it ain't moving. So that is really cool. So I can spin this over. So now anything that's sitting against it is sitting against this side and the ratchet isn't taking up the space. But check that out. That is a really, really cool, super, super easy to use accessory that I think most people with pickup trucks could find an absolute ton of value in. I mean, this is something that, again, whether it's luggage, whether it's equipment in the bed and you're just trying to separate it, whether it's you know trash cans, pressure sprayer, vacuum cleaner, chemicals, things like that. Something like this, I think, comes in handy for just about anybody who owns a pickup truck. I don't think I would necessarily use this in an SUV, uh, mainly because you usually have like those nets that you can put in place. Something like this, it's going to put quite a bit of force on these sidewalls. So you want to make sure you have something that's strong enough to be able to support that force. And I'm not 100% sure the plastic on the inside of most SUVs would be the right vehicle for this. But... Um, yeah, I feel that this is one heck of a cool solution for a lot of problems that people typically have with pickup trucks. And I really think that this is something folks with a pickup truck would find a lot of value in owning. So I'll put a link in the description if this is something you're interested in. And this product is under 50 bucks, so it's absolutely affordable. It makes a great gift, and I think this is something that, again, almost anybody with a pickup truck would find a lot of value in. The cool thing about it is when you take it off, you simply bring that all the way to there and it releases. It's that simple. You collapse it in like this. And it takes up hardly any space in the bed of your truck. So again, a lot of reasons why you might want something like this, a lot of capabilities from it, and a lot of convenience. If you're gonna be carrying items that you just don't wanna shift from here, to there whenever you're going down the road with a pickup. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll talk to you again very soon.